Welcome everybody to Daily Commitment. We got a couple of fun things for you today. I'm actually gonna do pull-ups without the assistance bands. I've gained a little bit of weight lately, so they're gonna be harder than normal, but I haven't tested it without the assistance bands in a little bit. I'd like to see if I can still do three. Three would be great. Three would be great considering the weight I've gained. We are gonna go back to the assistance bands because we don't wanna damage ourselves. I wanna get up to like 10 before I'm back to doing without the assistance bands. But I just, I don't know, man, I feel kind of down today. I feel like I need a, a, a challenge a little bit to push this a little bit. And then we're gonna be doing less weight on the squats. Uh, we got a little soreness in there. So we're just gonna do this a little bit of a challenge here. See how we feel. Here we go, one, two, We got up there yeah we got up there guys we did it a little bit of kicking but we got three so that's what I wanted I wanted to get three like that I wanted to feel that extra weight guys I will be losing 10 pounds soon I'm telling you I'm telling you I've been fighting with some stress and some different things going on in my life I've gone from a little bit less than 160 I was actually down to 155 for a little while to over 170 definitely drop 10 pounds and get to closer to the 160s um, but I didn't eat that well yesterday I ate okay but I didn't eat that well and that's what I keep doing I have okay days where I'm just like eh, and then I'll have a failure day where I gain a little bit and then okay days where I don't really lose much and then a failure day so that consistency is the key thing with your diet the same thing with your exercise anyway let's do a few more of these pull-ups uh, now that I made sure I can still do three even though I've gotten fatter I would like to make some progress in pull-ups. I think I'm going to. I think I'm going to get past three, um, which is kind of my my plateau, by doing more of these lighter weight ones with the bands. So we're going to do some with the bands, and I'm going to do the partials that I've been doing, and then we're going to do some partials in the pull-ups, and we're going to do some lightweight squats here. So let's do these partials. We're doing the partials, man. We're doing the partials much easier with these bands on here. And I don't want to hurt that elbow. That elbow did hurt a little bit when I was doing those other guys. So, but I just, I needed it, man. I needed to feel like, I needed to feel, I needed to feel like I could still do them without the, without the bands and still do them even though I was picking up that extra weight. So we're gonna do the partials on those, make sure you burn that out the rest of the way. We're gonna do these burnouts. We have been doing some of these on our walk. I mean, some of these bunnies. We're making some progress on these push-ups too. Um, what we're gonna do is just do a few of these like this. And we're keeping more time under tension. Instead of going all the way up every time, we're concentrating on the beginning of the movement. Woo, wearing ourselves out. And now guys, we do some squats again. We were doing our weighted squats every day. I had a little extra soreness yesterday when I was down like this working on the fridge. So we're actually gonna make sure we get a good stretch here. And we're gonna do, make sure we're all the way in. We're gonna do some light ones with our, it's good, it's good for me just to move around on these hips and make sure we're still staying, uh, make sure we're still staying spry here. I wanna be spry, man want to be spry. I don't want to be unflexible. So when we come up here, we're going to come up slowly. We're going to play with these slow squats. That's really been our big innovation on squats. Instead of just busting out a lot of squats, see I'm really wiggling in here. I'm trying to wiggle this. I'm trying to keep the head nice and tucked. I'm trying to go slow, especially on the way down. I really feel that. I really feel that. Really feel it, be able to hold myself at different points. Just really feel a nice stretch on these guys. I mean, we're past the point where a squat is difficult by itself, but when we do them slow like this, it challenges us. And we were doing the slow squats with that 45 pounds on there. So I really wanna make sure I give my body a little bit of a break today and more of a stretch day on these squats, just like I did the opposite with my pull-ups where I gave myself more of a stress day. 
I still do want to do all of my exercises every day. I feel like I'm past the point where I need to take breaks on these. And I could be wrong. I've hurt myself a couple times doing these exercises by either doing too much of a certain exercise or doing too much weight. But this everyday thing and shooting for only like 70% of your maximum, I think is very legit. How many of these have we done? I don't know. Have we done 10 yet? Something in that range here. I used to do 70 every day, sometimes 80 or 90. One time I even did 100 squats. So I know I have it in me to do a lot of these. So that's part of the reason I'm doing the less weight and more reps here. Just to make sure I get that stretch. It's this inner spot right here where I was here having that pain. I can especially feel it when I isolated and I was doing my cowboy squats right in here. Right in there. Oh, that'll burn you up real good. So I'm happy that I did those, but I don't want to overdo those. And I was doing those cowboy squats with the 45 pounds. And I think that's where I tweaked that section of the muscle that's responsible right here for holding it up. That little end of the muscle. I've noticed when I do all the way up, it's like the end of this muscle here that I feel it. Whereas if I'm down here, it's more this part of the muscle. So that's kind of interesting. Anyway, guys, keep it up. A little bit of exercise every day really does add up to a lot. You notice I haven't stopped these. I haven't felt some crazy amount of soreness. And I really want to, I don't know, I want to get into it, man. I want to give myself somewhat of a challenge every day. I've been having a lot of these 10 squat days, 20 squat days. I mean, I'm doing some of the cowboy squats. And doing some of these slow squats on the way down. So it's a lot more challenging than when I used to bust 70 squats. But I still, I want to give myself some kind of challenge on these days. Even when I'm doing these light squats. So tomorrow, we're going to do the weighted squats. And tomorrow, we're going to do the bands at the very beginning for the, uh, the pull-ups. And hopefully, hopefully guys, I'm starting to talk about this on, on the online now because i got to hold myself responsible. Hopefully, guys, I can start getting serious about this weight. I know I'm over 170. I think I was 173 last time I looked, and I didn't eat that good yesterday. So today we're rocking the fast. We've been fasting all day so far. It's about 4 o'clock. I got up late. I got it at, up at like 11, so that's not very impressive. So I'd like to make it all the way to dinner tonight, and I'd like to just do a one mealer one meal, you only have to focus on getting one meal right. And I want to focus on really just healthy meats and vegetables today. And then I think I need to get serious about this weight. I think I'm going to tell you guys my weight tomorrow. I'm going to weigh tomorrow. I need to get back in habit. Get it back down to that 160 where I was before. I'm going to feel a little more proud to take off my shirt here for daily commitment. But we'll get there. We'll get there because we're going to keep on it every day. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Good luck. Daily Commitments.